Well, I hope my fat head doesn't get cut off in this. Well, this flathead Ron. I got a care package today. I got a care package from Tom. Hilltop machine. I wonder what the heck it is. I do see he spent thirteen sixty five sending it. And I was so worried I didn't mean anything to you. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Let me put on my glasses. Now I can look like an old man. Oh, I like that wrap. These almost look like straw containers. Oh, I'm getting off track. Anyway, getting off track. Yeah, I was going to say they almost look like straw containers on one of the machines I used to work on. They were called aseptic packaging machines. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Now, I think I said that once. Ooh. Wow, I'm having a hard time with that. Looks like I got to sit that in sharpener. Oh, good deal. Reader. Oh, vintage battery tester. Sweet, I've never seen one of these. Check this out. I guess this would go on the negative terminal. Here's positive. Oh, oh, I'm mistaken. If I look at it, there's the plus right there. So you'd put this on the plus, and this is the ground. I think I've got some old connectors like this. You know, I used to restore antique radios and jukeboxes, so I got a lot of electronic stuff. I've never seen one like this. This is nice. Thank you, sir. I've been I've been talking to quite a few guys on YouTube, and this this whole community we got here available to us. You know, it's invaluable. I mean, the stuff that I can learn from you guys is just, and if I can pass any of that knowledge on, you know, I'm going to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Get ooh, looks like a board gauge. And you know something? You're going to have to stop by and show me how to use it. I've never used one of these before. This is really nice. Oh, I see how it works. Oh, for depth. Okay, well, I'm going to have to figure out how to use this darn thing. This is really nice. It doesn't look like it's been used at all. It's in really nice shape. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm going to have to learn how to use a whole lot of different tools, I would suspect. You know, I'm going to have to use a whole lot of... Oh, I was looking at these on the internet. Oh, these are the little pins that you put in between the threads when you make your measurement. Nice! I've never used these either. Of course, you're going to hear me say that a lot. You know, you're really going to hear me say that a lot because if it was a mechanics tool, I've used it. If it was an engine, I've built it. 
If it was a car, a truck, or a bus, I've tuned it. This is really nice. Looks like a complete set. Yeah, this looks like a complete set. This is really sweet. I'm going to use this for sure. Thank you. You know, I'm just I'm just having thoughts. That's all. I'm just I'm looking in here. You know, I need to get a Bible, a machinist Bible, one of those big fat books. And I think all there's also what they call a machinist black book. It's a really thin one. I need to get one of those too. And it has most of the uh, more common formulas and equations and things that a machinist would look up on a daily basis. <clears throat> Pardon me, daily basis. I'm choking over myself here. I'm almost don't know what to say. And that's kind of hard for me, you know that? Oh! Sweet! Hilltop machine! Thank you! Thank you so much! Yeah, I know you got a really wi a wild one out of that. XL, that'll shrink up perfect. That'll shrink up absolutely perfect. I know, I'm just flying it all over the place here. Hilltop Machine Works. I uh, got a shirt to wear when I do my YouTube. Thank you, Tom. I really appreciate it. Thanks to everybody else out there on YouTube that sent me a good message or a bad message. That's either criticized me or giving me help, helpful advice and I really appreciate it. I couldn't do what I do without you guys. So, this is Applied Head Ron. I think that's going to be all for now. So, as the tape sticks to me, I'm not really used to doing the videos and stuff. Now, my wife says it comes to me naturally because I talk to myself an awful lot, you know. I have never, ever seen one of these. And I've got a lot of vintage radio equipment, testing equipment, machinist equipment, not machinist, uh, mechanics. There we go, mechanics. Uh, they're a big difference, I know. But anyway, I'm going to go sit and drool over my finds here, or my gifts, or some very nice tools and a nice shirt. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate it. Have a great day. I know I will. Flat hitter on out. 2018. Workshop attire. Silk screen printing. Custom 100% heavy woven fabric. Hilltop Machine Works. Charlotte, North Carolina. Hey. I'll kidding aside, Tom. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. I got my YouTube shirt on now. I got to think of something to make for mine. <clears throat> I really appreciate it. If I haven't said that enough, thank you. Oh, if I knew how to turn it off, you press the button. Hey, Flathead Ron here. You know, the postal carrier just left left me a package. If it's what I think it is, yeah, it's offshore, but for what I do here, it'll be just fine. This one's for the lathe. Just a minute and I'll show you what it is. So, let me get out my handy dandy Leatherman here. And we'll see what the heck I bought myself. Put away the 
knife right away so I don't start wielding it like some fairy princess there. And another box. Hey, this is kind of like what I do to my kids on Christmas. Yep, it's offshore. But, like I say, for my needs, I think this is going to do the trick for right now. I'll see if it's the style I like anyway. It's supposed to be compatible with a few other US manufacturers, but we'll see. Because <clears throat> I'm going to order myself some other stuff. Nice. So we're going to have to get the machine in this thing here to match our slide and we should have adjustability. There we go. Okay. Looks like everything's here. It made it. The finish isn't that bad. At least every one of them doesn't say made in China across the front of it. We'll see how this knurling tool does. I heard that these aren't really the greatest as far as what type of knurling tool you should use. A lot of people don't prefer them from the videos I've been watching. But these here, this one's got a little groove. I can put a boring bar in there or I can put a regular tool. This is just a regular tool holder and a boring bar holder. And it looks like it's got an insert in that. parting to a holder here. So yeah. not too bad. Free shipping. See I'm using the lantern tool post right now so anything will be better than what I got except for this other one here that I was trying to use and it's been milled for one size bigger probably 5 16 bit I think anyway it actually fits wow good catch old man it actually fits pretty good they've machined it here so you can't rotate it it's fixed so you've got to rotate the compound over here I'd rather have it this way here so this is what I had to deal with. Along with the lantern and that's what I'm going to. So Chinese or not, I think it's going to be an upgrade from what I have. So when I get it on the lathe, I'll bring you guys back. 